Hi guys, welcome to this quick video. I'm going to show you how to blend skin in real time because I know that a lot of you have been struggling with that. I've read your comments here on, on YouTube and I've answered a lot of emails on my Patreon and um, I want you to see how I do it. I'm going to be using one of my girls from my coloring book, Chica Zodiaco, that you can get on my website or on my Gumroad profile, or you can get the paperback on Amazon. But it's very easy. I gave uh, my patrons a free brush, a free blending brush that you can use as a coloring brush um, because it's not about being uh, talented or not. It's about knowing how to use your technique with the right brush. So here I'm going to be using my one-to-one -one technique, one base, two uh, shadows, and one highlight. It's really easy and we're going to start with the PNG. Oh, and by the way, my coloring books are in clear PNGs, so you can change the color of the background whenever you want, okay? It's not just white background. Okay, so and there are many ways to start coloring. I know some of you want to color like if it was a piece of paper. So you would go to your favorite coloring brush. In this case, I'm going to be using, let me see, the acrylic. And then you pick the color for your skin. Let's pick this one, this one. And some of you just start coloring, right? Like if it was a regular uh, coloring book but I like to use layers and take advantage of the layers and one of the ways you can do this is by um, opening a new layer I like to put it underneath my drawing and make my drawing the reference you go to this menu and make sure reference is checked so you go to the layer that you're going to be using and you just drag and drop the color. Another way to do it is by going to your, your drawing, you go to the select tool, make sure it's on automatic and select what you're going to be coloring. Go back to your base, let's name this one base. Okay, and okay, we're going to drag and drop to make it easier. We're going to open a new layer on top of that one for the shadows. Let's rename it Shadows 1. It's really easy, especially if you have the correct tools. Okay, so for this Shadow 1, I'm going to be using, let's, okay, I like this color. And okay, I'm going to color it like you would do on a traditional way or in a traditional way. Okay, let's, let's pretend that it's ready. You go to your smudge tool and you select your Silvana blending brush and you play with the size and the opacity to start pushing the color around. Uh, one of the reasons that I like to use the select tool is that you're only working on that area that you want to color. If I go to my brush tool and I try to paint outside the area, it's not gonna work, see? So that's why I like to have my select tool, let me show it. The select tool is on. So see how I'm pushing the color around and it's not going outside the line. So I have more control of the shadows. Let's pretend that's perfectly done and create our second layer of shadows and we're going to rename it shadows two. This is the technique that I'm that I'm teaching, well, that I'm showing you guys 
on my patreon and it's really easy especially if you work in fashion like i do i used to work in fashion and do so many sketches a day that i needed to create this technique to finish them on time anyway this is the second way to color and blend you're gonna go to your coloring brush and you're going to pick the Silvana blending brush and you're going to color with my blending brush. Okay, you just have to play with the size and the opacity so you can have more control. And see, it's like airbrushing. Then you go to, <clears throat> sorry, <laughs> then you go to uh, your smudge tool and you start moving around that color so once you have all your colors in place you can start playing with the makeup you know i love makeup and i like to put some makeup on my on my little soya girl so let's get some blush i like lots of blush and then we open another um, layer and that's for the highlights. Let's highlights, highlights. Okay, and for that one, I'm going to use a lighter color and the brush that I love to use is the noise brush because it looks like a real highlight. I don't know if you're going to be able to to see it on screen i hope you do because it's so pretty i wish i had a highlight highlighter like this one in real life anyway i like to mix that one with white to get some sparkles and that's how i blend see it's pretty easy you just have to play with the with the layers and a little bit with the brush and of course this technique is super easy i hope you guys like this video you can get my coloring books to practice i have free pages on my website so go to silvanaarias.com and get yours and don't forget to subscribe to my patreon for more tips see you next time